Now we move on to the part two, the 11 to 20th question of part two. They carry, each of them carry five marks. Now the first topic over here is about, you know, uh, finding the unknown digit in a particular matrix. They have also told that these cannot be solved using an inverse. That means the inverse does not exist. So what does that give you? The, what hint does it give you? If there is no inverse, that means the determinant, determinant of a matrix is zero. So then once you know the determinant of any matrix is zero, it's very simple, right, to solve. There are many methods. Now the easiest method I personally feel is find the determinant of this. Multiply the diagonals. If you have forgotten the determinants, please go back to the video number two. Recall the video and now then, then watch this or continue solving it. It will be 9 times 2 or 2n minus negative times 8 will be negative 8. Now whatever this will be equal to 0. So now will you, uh, you can easily solve it. Various methods are there. Then I will take the, it will be my plus 8 equals 0 n equals so it'll be 2n equals negative 8 n equals negative 8 by 2 or n equals negative 4 so this is the answer for the this is how, this is how we solve it so all the problems are the same method now let's do over here just that there are two unknown n's so it'll be 6 minus n times n is n squared equals 0 you can use you can solve this in various methods the uh, using calculator using quadratic form, uh, equation or directly also now i'll take this to the other side six equals n squared so square root six will be plus or minus square root six is equal to n so this is the answer or you can use the calculator over here it'll be more phi and this quadratic equation is three and from here whenever right side is equal to you can solve it what is the coefficient of x square see more phi 3 it should be x square first then x and then the number the coefficient uh, the coefficient of the constant sorry more phi 3 before this it's 1 sorry it's minus 1 because there's nothing then there is no n term or x term so it's 0 and lastly, we have 6. The answer would be square root x, uh, square root 6 and negative square root 6. So that is the answer. Same way over here, you can try solving it. You will get the answer. Now, over here, last one has 3n. So I'll solve this quickly. It will be n squared minus 7. And this also will have a minus equals 0. So it is n squared plus 7n equals 0. If you are directly solving it, you can remove the n common out. So you will remain with n plus 7 equals 0. And either n is equal to 0 or n is equal to minus 7. Or you can just put this in calculator and solve. Let me show it. More phi 3. The coefficient before n squared is 1, before n is 7, and there's no constant, no uh, number. So it's 0, that is minus 7 and 0. So this is how you can easily solve them up. Uh, I hope it's clear. Just make sure you take the determinant and make it equal to 0 because inverse does not exist. And when the determinant is 0, the inverse does not exist.